The primary endpoint of the trial was progression-free survival, and it was met because uh, in the control arm, in uh, the bortezomib and dexamethasone arm, uh, the median progression-free survival was 9.46 months, whereas uh, in the selinex or bortezomib dexamethasone arm, it was 13.93 months. Uh, this difference was statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0 0.01 and a hazard ratio of 0.7. Furthermore, there was uh, a higher overall response rate uh, associated with SVD uh, at 74.6% uh, versus 62.3% associated with uh, uh, VD. The most frequent treatment-related adverse events were cytopenias. For example, there was a grade 3 or 4 thrombocytopenia in 40% of the patients treated with SVD. Uh, anemia, uh, gastrointestinal toxicity, such as nausea and diarrhea, which were mostly grade 1 or 2. Uh, cytopenias were not severe. Uh, and the bleeding events and uh, the uh, episodes of neutrophilic fever were low. So uh, there was a higher incidence of adverse event in the triplet, in the SVD arm. However, uh, the occurrence of really severe adverse events that necessitated treatment discontinuation was low. So this is why we have approximately uh, the same uh, treatment discontinuation in both arms. Uh, of course, uh, we know that uh, there are fewer uh, hospital visits uh, or visits uh, to the clinic to, to receive uh, the uh, subcutaneous bortezomib, uh, uh, and uh, we know that uh, uh, there is less peripheral neuropathy associated with one weekly bortezomib, less frequent uh, hospital or clinic visits, so this is associated with uh, an improved quality of life for the patient. Yeah, it was of interest uh, to see that in this particular trial, uh, patients who are considered to have high risk cytogenetics, such as patients with 17P uh, deletion, uh, or patients uh, uh, who have a 414 translocation, 1416 translocation, and other abnormalities, uh, did uh, uh, better, performed better with the triplet. We know that for this particular patient population, we are in constant need to find more active regimen. So this is uh, an uh, additional uh, benefit of uh, uh, the study, uh, to show that there was uh, a benefit, uh, which was even greater for, for patients with 17P deletion uh, with the addition of selinexor to bortezomib and dexamethasone. Yes, selinexor has uh, a completely different mechanism of action than other drugs. And when it is used uh, uh, once weekly at a lower dose, uh, there is a better tolerability because we know that the major limitation of the use of selinexor is uh, the gastrointestinal toxicity of the drug. Uh, as we use more and more selinexor, we learn how to prevent or to treat the side effect. So I believe that having a class of agents that has a different mechanism of action from other drugs, from immunomodulatory agents, from uh, uh, proteasome inhibitors, from monoclonal antibodies is a benefit uh, for the treatment of patients with myeloma. Uh, 